I I got the diorama tied tore apart, but um I've been uh, kind of snow crazy or um flower crazy as I should say, but been kind of building plows for about like everything that's like has wheels on it. I built a snot uh box plow for the the log the 980g log loader or force machine. I made a push thing for the. For the um, um, uh, for that or three thirty, just about anything. But what I want to show you is pretty cool. I kind of made some plows for the the Mac, the Hummer, and the T hundred. T hundred, it kind of it goes back and forth, and it's pretty much it's kind of, it's pretty steep enough so it doesn't get caught up on the on it, so it kind of just. So it just keeps it out, out of the way and stuff. The Hummer one um, is the wheels are kind of bent, so it kind of doesn't doesn't it kind of goes like I don't know. You know what happens if bent wheels are yeah kind of comes off the ground and goes back on, and uh, it's not steep enough, so it sticks on here and doesn't roll off and just kind of builds up kind of but it kind of looks cool oh uh, yeah I got like a little I always put like this little tiny plastic bar so it looks like the rub bar and so it keeps it close to the ground so it'll keep it plowing and stuff but all I all, all I did was um I uh, put this little tiny uh, square brass tubing in there from when I made my log truck and uh, just put the smaller brass piece on here and kind of tilted this. It doesn't tilt back forth, so. And then just slip it in there or whatever. I can also put the overload sign for the T800 on here. If I'm like in front of the Mac or something and then the Mac one it um, kind of builds up on it like the like the Hummer and kind of doesn't come off so that's like that, so it does that. Um, but they all pretty much plow pretty good um, but um, I want you guys to um, pick uh, Either if I should get the the Mac with the OT or the Oshkosh with the tag trailer, but they're both six wheeled. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of Volvo loaders, and I was on. There's these uh, little orange and red skid steers that are. Uh, um, uh, I don't know what they are. They have like a little elephant on there. I, I don't know. They're kind of cheap. They're like $3 on this one website. So I was thinking about getting a couple of those or getting um, like a, a case or a, a John Deere front end or a, a backhoe. Um, if you guys say uh, skid steer, I'll buy a couple skid steers. But if you say... Uh, um, uh, backhoe, I'll get the, a backhoe, just name it, and try, I'm kind of looking for the, a $20 range for equipment, like the case is $20, and, uh, um, the John Deere is $20, so, it, whichever one is better, tell me, and I will probably add it to the cart, um, but this will be the last video before I order everything, I'm gonna probably order about four things, I think, or five. Two, um, two are loaders. Um, the 150 C, or the Volvo L150C, and then the Volvo L70C with the plow and the stuff, and then the Oshkosh. Um, three axle 
and the tag trailer. And that will be the plowing business. And then I will have for my company or whatever, um, we'll have the um, backhoe. So it'll be sitting in the in the um, yard when I make those stop motion. Right now, I've kind of been messing around. I had a stop motion going. And then uh, me and my friend just couldn't wait to um, uh, do stop motions or wait like another week to get the equipment. So we just tore it all apart and just started to do his stuff. But I, I do have a little stop motion kind of started. Um, but yeah, the, stop, the shop's gone and some models are laying out there and stuff. But, um, yeah, my friend's, uh, or I think my cha his channel's on my page. It's, uh, 3.30, or, cat 3.30 FM. It's his, uh, username, and then this other guy I kind of been talking to is, um, uh, he's not really known, but I'm, uh, his name's like, uh, I'll put his name in the, in the, in the below section, or whatever, I'll put that down below, and then a little update on something, you know, I gotta go get it, you gotta get it below, he's a log truck, um, log truck is, like, Pretty much all done. It's just um, needs a headache rack or um, yeah, headache rack um, and stuff, and it will be done. I kind of I put a lift on it too, like um, so it's, it looks like it's six wheeled. Um, I put a lift under the cab and I put uh, those little white razors under there, um, so it gives it that. And then I added mud flaps. And like the piece where the uh, tail lights go on the trailer, and uh, wear bars on the top up here, right there. Well, my fingers pointing. Those wear bars on both of them. Um, so those are there. And then I also added it so it can do a quick change, so it can go like this. So quick change is about everything. So low boy. Um, West Coast, or so it's the two piece truck, and then it's the mule train. And then it can also be truck and pup. Oh, so, yeah, mule train, truck and pup, uh, regular logger. I'm gonna get a longer reach, so it'll be a long logger, long logger too, so it'll be um, pretty cool. Um, also on our website, we should have some more stuff. I'll put some more stuff, some pictures of, yeah. It's going to be, this is going to be painted um, black and orange, Hitachi orange. Um, what's, um, the, the stakes are right here. These things, the hold the logs, are going to be orange. And then this reach right here, it's going to be silver. And then... I've already started painting black right here, so that's about what it's gonna be. Should look pretty awesome when it gets done. I'll probably have it done by uh, Tuesday afternoon or something, and this is uh, Monday night. So thanks for watching. I'll post it tomorrow or Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.